I'm Nick Goldschmidt. I'm the winemaker for Goldschmidt Vineyards and Forefathers and many other brands under the Goldschmidt portfolio. And today, I'm going to talk about one of the key selling points when talking about the wines that I make. I'm very interested in the way we prune. Now, there are many ways that we can prune vineyards, and I'm not going to go on to a whole lecture about pruning today, but I'm just going to focus in on cane pruning and spur pruning and the two different techniques that are, that are used generally around the world. If this is a vine, we have two ways to prune this vine. We can have the vine trained out on two arms, and remember that grapes form on one-year-old wood. So the grapes form on the wood that had been produced in that particular year. So the fruit is that we're harvesting in November, or September, October, November of that particular year, is formed on the wood that is grown in that particular year as well. But the base wood, or the wood where that comes from, is what's key. So if we look at a spur pruned vineyard, what we do is we lay two arms out. Over many years, we have these what we call two bud spurs. And each one of these spurs will produce two shoots because we leave two buds on it. And these buds grow into the shoots that we'll get for this year. And on those shoots, we'll have two clusters. Two clusters forms on each shoot. And you can imagine that as this vine grows, this becomes very congested. The other piece to remember is that this arm here is, can be 20, 30, or even older. And we'll also have what we call little water shoots that grow up in any particular year. And they also grow up into the canopy. And so these shoots cause congestion. So during the spring or early summer, many vineyard managers will come out and they'll remove what we call, or will sucker these, these water shoots out of it to reduce the congestion. The other thing they'll do is they'll remove clusters so that clusters aren't forming on top of each other because if we get humidity or bad rainfall, we'll get botrytis and other diseases. So this is what we call spur pruning. But on a cane prune, and I'm going to just use the other side of the vine for this, this is one year old wood. Let's say that on a cane prune vineyard, we prune it and we leave two buds growing here and these buds grow the previous year and then at the time of fall when we do the pruning, we take one of these shoots and we lay it down. All right. So this is our one, this is our two year old wood. The following spring, as we laid this down, there's these buds are just uh, separated out. They're usually about as wide as your fist. And these shoots will only produce, these buds will only produce one shoot. So you can imagine that when we come to having the clusters here, there is much less congestion, much more airflow, much more light penetration. And there is no water shoots that will grow up because there's nothing for that shoot to grow on unlike a spur prune vineyard. As a fan of fine wine and making and growing grapes in cooler regions, I'm a big fan of, of cane prune vineyards. I have less management work to do. Admittedly, they are a little harder to prune and they take a little bit more time to care for the vine, but I think the result and quality and the amount of exposure that we get to sunlight far, is, is far superior than what we get on a spur prune vineyard. So classically, I always look for cane prune vineyards.